So guess what I have to do? I have a few missions left. 12, right? Get to, um... Only ones I'm really worried about so far are Amius, because it's kind of a toss-up. And this mission, equip a champion with six zeal artifacts, and this mission as well. And then, of course, this earn 80 immortal soul stones, because this is just all RNG. And it's going to take, I don't know, like a week. That includes me spending gems to reset. So that's going to take a while. But this right here sucks. Guess what I don't do? Live Arena. Guess what I need to do? Live Arena. Because in these chests are the Impulse and Zeal sets. I have to win 35 times to get one chest. And it might not even drop the exact chest that I need. Not the chest. I'm talking about like the pieces of gear. It, it might not drop the pieces of gear that I need. I specifically need a helmet. I think for both zeal and impulse. So <laughs> I have to do uh, live arena. Not a fan of it, to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of Polarium dangling a carrot and kind of quote unquote forcing us to do an area of the game that many of us actually just don't enjoy because it's all going to be the same thing, right? I've, I've been doing Live Arena for the past few days now, and it's all the same thing. Me and whoever I'm going up against chooses Armand's, UDK, and Sun Wukong. Sometimes you get an Arbiter in there. Uh, I've seen a lot of Elvas, Mythical Champions. Dude, I, I went up against a, a Mythical. Um, I, no, I went up against a guy who was level 75, right? Like, oh, okay, I guess it's a bot or something. Dude, this guy came out with like a plus, plus two mythical champions, and it was all mythical champions. I didn't know who to ban because I don't even know who these guys are. But this is how it's going to go, right? And I've been choosing the same guys since I, I've been doing Live Arena. And there is a quote-unquote dark way to do live arena like a cheap way to do live arena that i'll probably talk about in a different video i don't want to talk about right now i kind of just want to focus on getting the job done here so usually my picks are something along like this and if i see that there's an arbiter i usually tend to go for um Tormin. but this time around i'm gonna go with rotos I'm not too sure about what Blizzard does and if that's going to detrimentally affect me if I were to bring in Tormund. And we have Mithrala. I think his main damage dealer is going to be Fatalis, so we should take out uh, take out Fatalis. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead with our speed lead here. I'll do my best to talk you guys through exactly what my process is. But again, I don't normally do live arena. But I'll try to keep the commentary up because I know you guys like the commentary. I know that you guys, uh, some of you guys really do enjoy when I'm talking my processes through. But oh my god, just kill me now. Uh, my Yumiko does actually outspeed a lot of Arbiters. She is pretty, pretty fast. Like, I don't know, like when I, I keep saying like a lot. But I think I stopped caring about... PvP altogether uh, when two things happened. One, when I finally got the Platinum Avatar, replacing Plat, and once I was able to consistently just place Plat, I found myself like just not really caring about it anymore. And then the second thing that happened was I got into Live Arena and realized it's all pretty much just the same thing. Everybody just chooses the same champions over and over again, and there's no real end to it. There's no real winning to it. It's, and I talked about it in one of my more. I'll just go on auto here. I talked about it in one of my more recent videos that I just released. Or if I haven't released it, then it's going to be scheduled to be released. But the point is, in raid, yeah. So, dude, in raid, there's a lot of PvP. Or how should how should I say this? There's an end game. Like, there is a point that you reach 
where you're like, okay, I know this is the end for me. And usually, Cholas Wolf, he isn't wolf. Usually what that looks like is you're able to speed farm all areas of the game. I'm not even gonna count Minotaur, I'm not gonna count the potion key. Like the hard dungeons, hard 10 dungeons. See, some I usually go with UDK and Rodos. And because Arbiter's here, I'm naturally inclined to pick Tormund. Dear, dear God, see, that's what I mean. Like level 70 people coming out with Myth. Curious. Um. Dude, I have like, I have flashbacks from getting ganked by these guys who have mythical champions. I feel like I'm the only one that doesn't have mythical champions, so I'm just kind of like a... I want to ban Mikage because oftentimes Mikage kind of just does her thing and I can't do anything because she stunlocks me, stunlocks the crap out of me and it's the most annoying. But then Sig Sigfriend is also quite annoying. But we're gonna go with the extra thirty per three to uh, we're gonna go for extra defense here, and just hope to God that we're gonna be okay. Oh God, what was I saying? I really lost my train of thought. Eh. Anyway, this is exactly what I was talking about. I I get paired up. With I'm only I'm only in gold one. I think I think I dropped down from. Gold two? I was almost at gold three. Just like I feel like doing it anymore. Let's get rid of this mythical champion. It's, I know I could swipe at Sigfrind, but I know he's gonna place his block buff. Or not block buff, but his uh, unkillable. Maybe if I use Taurus to Taurus is A2, I can stun him. So there, we did get that in. I'm wondering what we should, I think we can try removing his buff. Cause my torment is a nuke torment right now. Yeah, I'd probably leave too, to be honest. Um, Yeah, God, what was I saying? Completely forgot, all right, Immortal Warriors. This might actually be somebody. We got the Live Arena avatar. I always, I always like hate putting on my avatar, my CC avatar, but it also looks pretty cool. I worked hard. To get if you guys didn't know that that's part of the main reason as to why i started doing content creation i saw somebody in chat with this avatar i was like oh wow it's cardio it looks pretty damn goddamn cool like i want that too like i want I'm, a, I'm an avatar collector you guys already know so i was like uh you know i'm gonna do content creation because i want the avatar lo and behold i kept doing it because i genuinely genuinely like making content on youtube i think it's really fun i get a little bit of income from it as well so it's like why not do two things that you love make money play video games and above all i get to connect and communicate with you guys like i get to talk to you guys wherever you are in the world you guys comment on my videos i appreciate that and it's, it's really cool to be able to talk to you guys i'll never not thank you guys for that uh, it's always going to be a cool thing. So we have a lot of revivers going on here. Literally, all of these champions are going to revive at some point. I think Lydia is going to help out quite a bit. I brought in Yumiko because of her A2, which is going to place the Hex on one of these champions, and it's going to reflect the Freeze, so I don't have to worry about Tormund's Freeze. More than likely, this guy, this guy is going to ban Armands, leaving me with Rotos as my main damage dealer. The iffy thing here is that if he does ban my Rotos, I am kind of SOL and I'm just going to have to use my support champions and hope that I I get a win somewhere. He's thinking about it. He's not sure who to ban Armands or does he ban my Rotos, my only damage dealer? Ban Yumiko. Does he want to get locked out? Does he want to get deal with the redirected freezes? Like... This was kind of a bad choice on my end because I wasn't really paying attention, so I don't really have any other nuker. Now, Armand's does do a little bit of damage. So, what we're going to do here is we're gonna go with Yumiko. Why Yumiko? Because she has the Intimidating Presence Blessing, which I think is our uh, speed, not our speed lead, but our lead, and decreases theirs very minutely. 
but oftentimes that's what I end up doing. I could have gone with Lydia's 100 points of accuracy or resistance, but um, I wasn't feeling it. So we're going to redirect this here. So anything that any debuffs they try to place on us, like his A3 that might try, is going to get redirected back to him. Another thing that I could do here is probably see what I could do. Actually, no, I'm perfectly fine doing this right here because the freeze gets redirected to the one who has Hex. So I don't have to worry about Torben's freeze popping up. It means I could place the decrease and he's probably going to hit his A3. Yep, of course, I prevent him from coming back. I'm going to lock out Arbiter. She can't do anything. And we're going to go ahead and hit you. Hit you. And uh, at that point, I would leave too. To be honest, there's just no point to it. I'm almost at 2,000 for my live arena tokens. That's a good thing. Which means my Hydra is about to hit level 10 for speed. That's what I've been focusing on. Dark Butte 987. It's either this account or my alt account. One of those is about to hit level 10 for speed. I um, have a confession. Because somebody came to me with an account. It's a very nice account. And I'm like, I don't know if I should hold on to it. Or should I give it away? Like, should I give the account away? Like, it's, it's a pretty sick account. It's juicy. It came out of nowhere, too. He was just like, hey, you want this? You can do a giveaway. You can keep it. You can do whatever you want. I was like, let's take a look at it, bro. I'm telling you, it's a nice account. But I don't know. It's just a thought that's going on in my head. Let's go ahead and bring in UDK. Now, I am tempted to bring in Torment. This looks very Tormentable. And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of two damage dealers I'm not too worried about. The Kage could present an issue for me. So I'm not going to bother dealing with... Uh, yeah, say if I hadn't banned her, then this would have been an issue. To be honest, Armand's really isn't built to... Not at the point where I can build Armand's that fast. I think he's, he's at like 286 speed. And he's in supersonic. Not the best build. But I didn't want to break anybody, and I wanted to keep him in supersonic just to try him out. So if I were him, I would not hit that exact thing that he just did because of counterattacks and because Rotus gets an extra turn. But I guess when you're young, level 87, you just don't know. Which is fine. We've all made that mistake before. This is also why it's important for you to learn the mechanics of certain champions. That way you don't make mistakes. Case in point, I still make this, I still make this uh, mistake, right? That Blizzard, Blizzard dude, I, I wasn't sure how he functions. That's why I didn't like choose Tormund. But if I had known his kit, maybe it would have been okay to bring Tormund in. Kage, I can't wait to get my own Makage. I have her ready to feed. Uh, I'm not really gonna do anything with her yet. So, okay, so he got Sun Wukong this time around. So I'm just gonna bring in Rotos. Helenbo. I already want to ban Makage. She always goes way too fast, and I hate how mythicals... <laughs> Dude. I feel like live arena battles take forever and going up, going up against people that have mythical... Because they always seem to take forever. They can, like, take... What do you, how do you say it? Like, they, they transform, right? They transform quite often. So... We're gonna go ahead and I wonder if I if I should bring in Yuko or Warlord. I think I'm actually privy to Yumiko. So he has a choice here. He's probably considering banning Tormin or Armand's, but I really think he's going to ban Armand. And for that purpose, I'm gonna get rid of 
Okay, so he didn't. I'm gonna go ahead and take Armand's. I would have banned Tormund. I think Rhodos is one of the last ones on this list that I would have banned, but who knows? I've, I've been wrong multiple times and Live Arena really isn't my best place. Okay, so the freeze popped off. Let's go ahead and put the skills on cooldown. Now he's going to have to A1, it's gonna hit you. Okay. Same thing with Turbo. So what I'm going to do here is pop off with Armand. And I'm going to try and sheep Mikage so that we can kind of take her out of the game for a bit. She is annoying as crap. I don't want to risk unsheeping her. So actually, no, she's about to take a turn. So I'm going to hit this. And I'm going to hit Arbiter. She's back. But she's on cooldown. I'm going to hit Mikage again, push her turn meter back. She is super fast. We're gonna hit the A2. Hopefully we get some fear procs off. Looks like we got a fear off on you. Actually, it would it would be okay to leave Makage like this because the hex is going to be redirected to Arbiter. Let's push Arbiter's turn meter back. Let's go ahead and just hit the A1. So he's either gonna transform and try to stun us, which is going to get redirected back to Arbiter. And then I hit Armand's again. Armand's is just cancerous. Now I don't need to sheep anybody. I think it's just fine if I, yeah, and I would, I would like to. So, see that's only five battles. And if I wanted to buy another one, like I have to spend 20 gems. 